Hi, I'm Tony Agrillo with the Hermitage Club Ski Patrol. We want to show you a little bit about who we are and how we do our part to make your experience the best it could possibly be here at the club. So one of the most important decisions that Ski Patrol is responsible to make is whether a trail opens or whether a trail remains closed. And our criteria there is pretty simple. If there's enough of a snowpack to cover the ground underneath and that snowpack is edgeable and skiable, we're gonna open that trail. There might be a couple exceptions. There might be some ruts on the trail or things that aren't conducive to skiing or maybe a breakable crust. We might keep that closed. But otherwise, if the snow's there and it's skiable, we're gonna drop that rope and open that terrain. Deciding if a trail opens is not about how the trail looks, it's about how it skis. If there's a rope up, it means that a patroller has been in there recently and put his or her skis across the trail and determined that if you finish a turn, you'll likely bottom out onto an unedgeable surface or rocks and dirt. So marking hazards is one of the preventative aspects of our job. Generally, we mark things that the skier is not going to see coming. If there's something in the trail, a hazard in the trail that the skier can see and it gives the skier a reasonable amount of space to turn and avoid it, we're not going to mark that. You know, we're going to put things like bamboo and other devices to mark hazards out on the trail and help people where we can, but ultimately avoiding hazards is about skiing in control, it's about picking your times and places to ski fast, and taking responsibility to keep yourself safe. Caution means that there's likely something unusual about the way the trail is skiing. It could mean that there's a cross, but it's manageable. It could mean that the coverage is inconsistent, but there are enough spaces to turn and pick your way down. Generally, it's a message to slow down and look ahead. And thin cover means, well, thin cover. I'm going to talk a little bit about what happens when we get a call that somebody may be injured on the, on the hill. We will dispatch a rescue toboggan from the summit, typically, uh, to the site uh, so that we can do an assessment and uh, decide what sort of care we need to provide, if any. Every toboggan has a sled pack in it that uh, includes a minimal amount of equipment. Uh, we also carry medical gear with us and uh, ultimately, uh, if the person is injured, put them in the toboggan and ski them to base first aid for further assessment or further transport. Our base first aid is a comfortable place to reevaluate injuries. The care we provide there is pre-hospital level. While we're not able to diagnose injuries there, we can gather information about the injury, inform the patient as to their medical options, and help them make the best decision regarding seeking the next level of care. Often we meet people uh, on not their best day. So they're in pain, they're scared, they may be nervous about what an injury means to them. And hopefully, you know, as a patroller, uh, we can bring some comfort to them. It's, that's, that's part of the job that I see of the first aid is easing people's uh, fears, anxieties about what this injury is going to lead to, you know, in the rest of their life. Probably the most important thing a ski patroller does as first on scene of an incident is make a transport decision. We need to recognize not just what the patient needs immediately to stabilize their injury, but also what's the next level of care that they need. The Hermitage is in a rural setting, which is why people come here. That puts the closest emergency room 40 minutes away, the closest level one trauma center over two hours away, depending on driving conditions. So patrollers need to mobilize the emergency medical system in the valley quickly, call for an ambulance or even an air evacuation if necessary to get the patient to the care they need in a timely manner. We're the kind of patrol that really requires somebody to um, you know, take initiative and to be a team player 
and uh, to be able to work, uh, you know, in that kind of a group environment. Working as a patroller at the Hermitage Club is great. It's challenging, it's rewarding, and it's exciting. Working with a small group of people really allows you to get to know your teammates. Everybody has, you know, some something that they bring, but there's no time that I call, say, hey, no, not you. I want this one. <laughs> and the nice thing about working at the Hermitage Club is because it's a members only uh, club, we get to meet people and get to know them over time. So we're helping people and their families and it's like being part of a bigger family. What I like about our ski patrol is that it's small, we know everyone, um, everyone works hard, everyone does, um, pulls their weight, and there's tons of personalities on our crew and it's a really fun time. Thanks for watching and enjoy your time on Haystack Mountain.